Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. It is beautiful here in Minnesota. Finally, it's in the 80s, it's sunny, it's gorgeous out. So you know what that means? Time to wash that dirty trucker car you have. So, I went out and picked up the Rayobi. Ah! Boom, car buffer. This is model P435. I've been eyeballing this bad boy for a while. Uh, but I've never pulled the trigger. I don't know if it was on sale or what. I think it was like 30 bucks I got it. The last couple years I've used this corded one, which works good. But, you know, cords are a pain in the butt. We're going to have a cordless. Why not? Uh, so we're going to unbox this bad boy, go over the features, and we're going to polish up the front of the truck here and just see how well she works. Hit that intro. I figured today we'd do a good old-fashioned Rayobi tool review since I haven't really done much Rayobi stuff lately. I've been kind of getting into DeWalt and all the other brands. Alright, should we crack it open? Like I said, this is model P240. Wait, yeah, P2435. Cordless Orbital Buffer. Ooh. Buffy Padola. That's really it. We got the buffer. Oh, it comes with a couple extra covers. Just some cardboard in there. Let's see what the box says. Anything good? Um, there's the stats right here. Full size 10 inch buffing applicator and bonnet. Complete jobs quickly. Powerful motor maintains optimal performance during extended use. Cordless convenience. Uh, crescent shaped handles to provide comfort. Random orbital action. It is 18 volts. 2500 RPMs. 10 inch pad weighs 4.3 pounds. That's nice to know. 4.3 pounds. Wait, where is it right there? Focus. Yeah. Man, it's a steamy one here in Minnesota today. Oh man, I think it's like 86 degrees with 79, 78% humidity. Ugh, it's gross. I'm not used to this heat. So it comes with the chamois cloth. This is for applying it. And then it comes with the fuzzy um, main buffer pad to smooth out all the imperfections. And it has, it looks about an inch and a half, two inch. Well, actually, let's measure it. A bit of guessing. We have inch and a half pad, double layer foam. See it? Inch and a half. Mm, it's pretty comfy off switch. That's really all there is to it. Let's find the battery. We need a battery. So if this weighs 4.5 pounds and the battery weighs about a pound, we'll just compare the two real quick. So one pound exactly, so it should be five, 5.5 pounds. There we go. It's kind of a snug fit. Yep, 5.5 .5 exactly. You guys can see that. The corded one is 4.8, so actually it is 16 ounces lighter. Oh yeah, that is quite a bit heavier. I mean, not quite a bit. Not a professional detailer by any means. So typically you can use any wax. I just have turtle wax, it's just what I have. Uh, you can also use that one that comes in the orange. I think that's a new polish or new finish. That one works really well. I've used that before. So, first thing you do is wash your car or truck, wipe it off with a towel so there's no moisture left on it, right? It says, shake product well, pour about. A, half ounce of color black finish restore onto a folded cotton cloth or foam applicator apply 
color black finish restore evenly overlapping motions rubbing well into vehicles finish restore one selection or restore one section at a time let dry to a haze so that's the key let it dry so it looks hazy and then you go over it with the buffer okay All right, I'm just going to do the hood on film here real quick. I'm not a detailer. I'm not a professional car cleaner. Stop typing, guys. Stop typing. It's just for fun. Okay? Stop typing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys. All right. Let's go apply some palash. All right, so just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to start off with this little section here see if we can get out some of these scratches in my hood. I hope this stuff is still good. It's been out in the garage all winter. So let's just test a little spot right here. My truck is full of scratches because I actually use it. I go off-roading, I use it hunting, I'm in the woods, you know. It's not a pavement baby. A little bit more than that. I think got a lot of scratches. All right, we got a nice even coat of wax on the hood. See what I mean, how you have to let it dry, kind of to that white, milky haze. I put a little bit more over here on the sides. Just like that, there's a good chunk. So let this dry for about five minutes. It's right in the sun, she's cooking pretty nice. Then we'll bust out the orbital buffer and polish her up, see how pretty she looks. You can tell too that it's kind of hiding some of the scratches. I think it looks pretty good. Look even better once we buff it out. Okay, we got a full battery. Can you see that? I know it's bright out here. There you go, see? It. Let's see how long this bad boy lasts. Okay, ready? Here we go. Ooh, shiny. Oh, oh yeah. Doesn't seem to have much power, listen to it. Almost like it wants to stall out. So now it's really bright out here, it's hard to see. Can you guys see the difference? Buffed, non-buffed, you see it? Shiny, gling, 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 dull. Is it better? See what I mean? It's kind of hard, like look in the, the creases of the hood right there. Shiny, dull, that looks pretty good. Here you go. Nice shiny hood. It turned out pretty good. 
definitely use another coat. If somebody scratches in my truck, it's kind of hard to... You can see, it looks good in the sun, right? Bling, 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 nice and shiny. I haven't polished this thing in like a year. Well, there you go. Hope you liked that quick little unboxing demonstration of the Ryobi Orbital Buffer, model P435. It comes with one buffing pad, one terry cloth applicator pad, and of course, Ryobi sells many more. You can get these at Walmart or any auto parts store. You can order buffing pads. Heck, you can get like a huge pack of them on Amazon. Uh, pretty cheap. So I think I buffed maybe 10 minutes and I used one bar. You see it? Look, take it off. Bing! One bar. This is an old battery too, so. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Appreciate you guys watching. I give this one consumer thumb up just because of the price and I like it. Now if it's a little bit faster, a little bit lighter, then I'd give it two thumbs up. But I give it one consumer thumb up at right around $30, $40. You can't go wrong with it. Pick it up, check it out. It's fun. Give it to the kids. You know, it's light enough that your son can do it. Like my older boy was 10, right? 10? Yeah, going to be 11? No. He's 11, going to be 12. God, I'm a horrible father. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, so put them kids to work. Make them wash and polish up your car. Have a blessed day. See ya!